Can we talk about the whistle at it? Sure. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby, let me know. What did you make of it? I love it. It's, it's great. It's one of the funniest things on earth. Great. I it's, don't know why, though. It's like somebody said it became like the new Rick Roll. And I'm like, this is just wild. I don't know where it came from. It's like the most random video. Yeah. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's that whistle. Ah, okay. I was like, I don't get it, but I'm here for it. What's that picture from? It's 2014. I think it's like some photo shoot. It may have been like pre-SNL. Yeah, pre oh, it does SNL look like an SNL picture. Kind of, it's got that texture to it. I don't know. I have no idea. It might even be AI. Who knows? When did you find out about it? So I had like heard about it and some people had been like, you know, you're like all over right now and I'm sick of it. And I'm like, ah, I, I'm not on any of that, so I don't know. And then finally over uh, over the holidays, my brother and his boyfriend were like, we need to sit you down and explain to you what's happening online. Yeah. And so they gave me a rundown, they showed me all these videos and we were all laughing about it. It's it's wild. I mean, the fact that like official like Democrats, like whatever, TikTok or something, posted one of like Joe Biden like drinking from a coffee cup and then it freezes and it starts the... <laughs> it's totally still laughing. You're gonna have it's to wild. talk to Rick Astley about how to navigate I know, this. I'm sorry, that's too much. I love it. As a mentor, Mr. Snow, your role is to turn these children into spectacles. Have you had the chance to see the new Hunger Games film? I have not seen it yet. No. Oh, it's so good. I really want to see. It. I'm, I'm I'm so behind on movies. I've heard it's great, and I don't know. I'm really curious, just because the world of Hunger Games has obviously been interesting to me for a long time. Yeah. And you know, going to a prequel and kind of understanding how some things came to be sounds sounds great. That was one of the biggest moments of my entire life was making those movies, and it was really weird, like driving around and seeing Hunger Games billboards and feeling like I should be at a press junket or something. Yeah. And not being, like, not promoting, because it, was, it wasn't my movie. But it, it was, it's weird, but it's 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 cool. I mean, the, the first Hunger Games was over a decade ago now. I know, that's is, so like, weird. It's just mind-blowing. Together? Together. Oh, were you guys it's, texting, like, what the heck? There's yeah. Hunger Games that were not on set. <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't. <laughs> but we need we need to have a reunion. It's been it's been too long. Jennifer Lawrence was yeah. cracking me up last night. Oh, she was funny. She Did was you really see that? Funny. She's like, if I don't She's win, like, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm out of here, yeah. That's like, <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, no hard feelings. She probably left too. <laughs> she probably did. Yeah, no here. Yeah. Welcome to Freddy's. Have you met them yet? Met who? Can we talk about Five Nights at Freddy's really quick? Sure, yeah. Okay, so this movie comes out, the reception's like, whatever, and then it's the biggest Blumhouse <laughs> film of all time. Yeah. What did you make of the reception and then like how it's kind of become this instant cult classic? They nailed it. I mean, I think that, you know, I, uh, the games are huge, obviously, and the fan base are, they're rabid, and there's so much lore, and there's a big expectation on what the movie's gonna be. And so they all showed up, but I think the thing that surprised us most is that the, it had crossover, and really a lot of audiences came that weren't even fans of the game and didn't mm -hmm. know about it. And I think that that is a hard thing because the, it's a PG-13 horror, which is kind of like, it's difficult to w find that right tone. And I, I really feel like they crack something that's really hard to crack, which is like an intro to horror kind of thing yeah. for like younger viewers at the same time keeping fans of the game satisfied and making a fun, cool movie to watch as well. Um, I'm super ecstatic about the success and I'm excited to, to make some more. I was gonna say, you're doing yeah. a sequel, right? That it hasn't been like officially announced yet, but that's the plan. You're telling me one man did this. The only thing you know is he's a beekeeper. Tell me about jumping into this project. You read the script. What was the point where you're like, I'm all in on beekeeper? I mean, kind of from page one, it has such like a, a weird dark comedy element to it as well that I, I loved. And just when I, when I was reading Derek, my character, just in his twisted, unhinged mind and outlook on things, I thought like, wow, I'm not the actor that most people would think of to come in and play this guy. And and so to, to really step up and do something different like this was was like a, a dream come true. I, I love him. As soon as I saw Derek, I was like, I love him. I want to yeah. slap him. Yeah, exactly. He's <laughs> one. <laughs> Tell me about forming the, the look of this character. That was really fun. Our, um, our douchebag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was really fun. You know, when, before I came on board, David told me that the image that he had for Derek was a bit more of like a three-piece suit, fancier kind of guy. But then when I came on board, he turned into this, um, <laughs> which I thought was really fun. And we wanted to construct him as a character first and understand where all this nonsense and his warped views kind of come from. Mm -hmm. And so after we did that, we kind of landed on this wildly insecure guy who has so much money, so much privilege, and 
sees people as cockroaches, basically. And so from there, we decided that, oh, well, if that's how you are, you mix snakeskin boots and leopard print shirts and greens and golds, and you have a diamond stud earring, and mm -hmm. you have crazy frosted tips. It almost got out of hand, but I think that we kind of walked that line and uh, made this douchey crypto bro. David Ayer, I love him, mad yeah. man. What was yeah. it like working with him? What surprised you the most about his his process? David's amazing. I mean, I've seen so many of his movies, and, and what he does so well, I think, is is makes a reality and, and it's grounded but heightened at the same time. And it's extremely impressive. We worked a lot and talked a lot about developing my character, Derek, and he did that same thing with every other character. So to kind of have a director that I could trust to know where to put the cameras, but also as really like lean on him creating this wild character was a uh, was very cool. I feel like I could imagine every way that you could kill someone in a movie, and David Ayer still like went beyond he still that. Still finds, still finds new the ways. The one with the truck and the bridge was I know <laughs> unhinged. When I read that in the script too, I was like, they're going for, it. and they did that. Like they they launched a truck off of a bridge. Like that was a thing that they did. Jason Statham. Mm -hmm. What surprised you most about working with him? I feel like we all have our ideas of like who Jason Statham is on a set. He's so nice. Really? He's so I love nice. That. He's so nice and like weirdly not intense. And like on, set, you, I mean, you think Jason Statham. Just be like this gruff, intense all the time. No? Yeah. He's like just a nice guy that works works his ass off, really great with the whole crew, does all of his own stunt work, and is just like humble. I love yeah, that. Yeah, it's very cool. A beekeeper, a beekeeper? Well, that's not good. Do you think we could get a beekeeper sequel? <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the beekeepers are gonna keep existing in this universe, so. The bee puns. Uh, that I know. I'm all in I on know. beekeeper. I love it. Great. All in on it. I love it. Thanks so much, Josh. Yeah, this thank was you awesome. Very much. Great talking to yeah, you. Yeah, good talking with you. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby, let me.